Alright. We're doing more Undertale. <clears throat> yeah, we're doing more Undertale tonight. Uh, I used to listen to this track just all the fucking time. Oh, this fucking song goes so goddamn hard. Just fucking listen to this. When this game came out, I, I, I listened to this shit all fucking day. Every fucking day. And then I started listening to Rashadi B and fucking Falcon EX. It, it, it just. It wasn't just like game music. It was. I don't, I don't know. Oh, weird relationship with that game. Alright, give me Undertale. Every time, I swear to God. There we go. Many years later. More of this shit. Oh, we got a fish to talk to? No. If you ever see a problem in town, a skeleton will tell a fish about it. <laughs> That's politics. It is politics, though. That is how fucking politics works, just in general. Uh, game? I think the game froze. Oh. Yeah, game, game, game having a moment. All, all F4 that motherfucker. Okay. Uh. Let's try that one again. Run that one by me again, homie. Try this again. Okay, come on. Come on. Controller. Give me controller time. Is it, it's time for- Give me the controller? Let me use my controller. Fucking god. Pretty god. Done shitting. No. Controller is super not gonna register because there's another one here and it's gonna take that one instead. Because I have two controllers, like a sap. We 
We got her. She's reading. She's asleep. That's good. She doesn't have to see the horrors of the world. And we got uh, the two fucking baseball brothers. Look at them. Baseball. Baseball. Hey, the B button is uh, accept, and the A button is uh, cancel. Back up. Backspace. Something like along those lines. Why the fuck is it A and B again? Is A for accept or is it just arbitrary? Why are controller buttons uh, named the way they are? I understand left and right. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Terror Knight? Oh, the fucking, like, knight outfit is so... Ugh! Shit. Oh, it's so fucking cool. For a fucking game maker game. Oh, shit. Like, that's a, such an impressive way to, like, meld the, um... The turn or the turn-based uh, combat with the uh, you know real-time action. Bullet hell. Hee hee. Oh, I don't want to go. No. No. Good fucking segment. Oh, her design. Shit's scary. Ah! No! He spears you to death. Very effective eating. Just thinking about that. They just black out the, uh, the portion of the sprite. Yeah, that works. So what's good? Later, homie. <laughs> Just kind of rotates. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Chat, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Very good. Is that a GameCube on the top? It's like mirrored really awkwardly. See the mailbox? The cardboard box, the trash can. What's that green thing? A little teddy bear there. This like gold yellow like It's like wrapping around like a GameCube or something. I have no fucking clue what that thing on the top is. Cool. <sighs> the waterfall here seems to be flowing from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally a piece of trash will flow through. And fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Thank you for th thank you, Trash Zone. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize.
You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. I like that honk. Pile of yellow names in the trash can. Good. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Garbage. It's a cooler. There's no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one. You're carrying too much. A trash heap. DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. You want to beat it up? Oh, uh, you stare into each other's eyes for a moment. <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside of a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. They were a shot I sort, living a lonely life in the ruins. They saw you and hoped you might talk to them, perhaps strike up a friendly conversation. No, you ran away and broke their little ethereal heart. Despicable, despicable, despicable. Human. I'll show you what real heartbreak is. Mad Dummy blocks the way. He does look like a dummy. Got a little mouth thing going on in the middle. I don't like that. Let's talk to him. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one's happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. <laughs> Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget I said anything about magic. Oh. Looks nervous. I wonder why. Death? Yes. Yeah, I get that. Is there a ghost? Physical attacks will fail. Defeat you and take your soul. I don't know about that one. Ow. He is hot mad. No one is happy. Oh, you're so across the barrier. Uh oh. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. That's all you want to do. I mean, like. Or power to you, but I mean, like, fuck you, man. I was like a clothing store. Everything I want will be mine. Getting cotton all over the dialogue box. You talk to the Nami. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Who's their name again? Uh. I think you're just like a dick or something. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever.
You know what's crazy? This is a lot of fa people's favorite fight. And theme. Hey guys. <laughs> You're fucking stupid. Rise and not to shoot at me. Well. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I don't think sending your, your homies away is a it is a great idea. I'm gonna rely on people. Aren't garbage. Maniacal words fill the room. Dummy, bot, magic missile. That did actually just go over your sprite. That's just kind of scuffed. Doing an armless ska dance. No, I want to use the nice cream, not let it go. Dummy bots, try again. Ow. Dummy bots, you're awful. Wait, you're insulting the only people who can help you. I, I don't, I don't know why you think that's a good idea. Final attack. Shit. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. Got a knife? I'm out of knives. What does it matter? You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. That wasn't established, actually. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> you really just did that to that sprite, huh? Well, what the fuck is this? <laughs> This. Oh, fuck this. I'm out. Yeah, he really did go. He really did go out. That was not a good joke. So sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no! You guys look like you're having fun. Oh, no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, I'm with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, my house is up in case you wanted to see it, or in case, don't. Feel calming tranquility? You're filled with determination. That's a duck. I'm gonna talk to the duck. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer. I'll get a ride. Sorry, we just had to have a moment of silence for uh, the duck that carries you across an inordinately uh, wide gap. 
Oh, we're about getting into the telescope business. I've told you this before. Oh, well, we can come back whenever you want. I didn't do the sands of ice. It's just critical. Sans is just critical. Every Sans impression, or every Sans voice, or the voice that every fucking, like, <laughs> Let's Play has ever fucking given Sans, every, the, the only voice that's ever been given to him, is just fucking critical. That's it. I, I get it that it's like, <laughs> like, like uh, yeah. They, like, they kind of give it to you. But no one ever does that for fucking Skeletor, now do they? Skeletor, Skeletor. I'm thinking of our Skeletor, my beloved. Um, no one ever fucking do that with his stands. Everyone else fucking... <laughs> no one does that for Papyrus. Keep forgetting that's what this room is. This room sucks. a lot of this shit. Alright, bird. Coming back. What's up, bird? Let's fucking go. Let's do it. E extremely good. That's a lot of jittering. Very shaky. All right, thank you, bird. Duck. What? 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 It's a, it's a living. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Fish. Good ass bright. Funny fucking sprites. Oh, really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Um, you wanna try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. You wanna join me? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. I'm gonna lie down as long as you don't move. You don't only move around when you get up, I guess. Anyway, I'm done with that. Uh, well, that was nice. Um, oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on uh, sometimes. Peter's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. 
It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. This is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it. Breaking it the fuck down, homie. What is this? Spook wave? Oh, he put some fucking reverb on it, huh? Before his time? Sorry, ahead of his time. Ah. Some treble? You know, get the fuck out of here? It. Extremely good. It's locked? Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach for and far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snail, Sam Buell. I've been long overdue for a second house. It's just a guy. Yeah, that's just a dude. The snail is counting dollar bills. Okay, I see what's going on here. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. No. Ah, word. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. Uh, this place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer uh, disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Can't believe he fucking stole uh, Snail's farm. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. 10G to play. Sure. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh! Come on. You got it. You got it. It's all you, homie. It's all you, Thunder Snail. Come on, Th Thunder Snail. You're good. It's you. It's all you. You're good. Come on. We got this. Come on. Uh! Fuck. Didn't work? Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. <sighs> you wanna play a game? You wanna play a game? Okay, we gotta encourage her just a little bit more. She'll, she'll get over her fear. And... You got it. You got a girl. Yeah, it's all you. It's all you, Thunder Snail. It's all you. It's all you. No, you're not on fire. No, you're you're gonna you're gonna burst forth like like a, like a phoenix. No, no, that that's a dead snail. I'm telling you, that's a dead ass snail. Look at him. You know, that's a dead fucking snail. Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed probably got you. Oh, let's see if we can actually win this. Based? You won. Uh, congratulations. Surprise, you get 9G. Sorry, we have to make a profit somehow. That's kind of funny. If we win again, is it is still going to be 9? <laughs> Hey. 
I think you see what the mechanic is. Yeah, every time you do it, it speeds you up. I see. now, kid? Yeah. Ah, I'm just trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. I heard if you want to sell stuff, the town villagers are back to back. Where is it? Now been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you live through so much for yourself. <laughs> that, that emblem. <laughs> you don't know what that is. What are they teaching kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Room. Oh. Oh. Something just clicked? That's the Delta Rune! The emblem of our kingdom! The kingdom... The monsters! <laughs> Great name, huh? That's all I always say. Oh, clean... Luffy Bonds can't name for beans! That one actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. <laughs> I mean, all I know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes someone else. Most people say it's the angel on the prophecy. Oh yeah, prophecy. Legend has an angel who was between the surface will descend from above and bring a freedom. Many people have been taking a bleaker outlook. On oh, that winged circle, the angel of death. Harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. I mean, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> King Fluffybuds, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. You keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. We'll have to walk around and talk to people. And yeah, why do we call him Tall Dreamer Fluffybuds? Well, that's a great story. I remember. You come back later, I'm sure I'll remember by then. Hey. Undyne, is your local hero around here? Her grit and determination alone, she fought her way up to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. Watch your back, kid. And buy some items. Might save your life. <laughs> you wanna know? Don't be shy. Yeah, I'll take those. Careful, kid. With the glasses. Alright, you can keep that on me. There's another year! You come back later. Hurt, beaten, fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There's only one way to reverse this spell. 
is a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier. It will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Those must be trees. Kinda queer. Yo, that's a special enemy Temmy. Special enemy Temmy. <sighs> Alert. Alert. I'm not flexing. Wait. Yes, I am. You flex at Temmy? No, muscles are not you. Oh, I have to disagree. No. Just the two of us, huh? <laughs> uh. You make me uncomfortable. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. This is one of my uh, more favorite tracks. Or, yeah, tracks on the um, OST. Walk into Molt Molt Mall. Smells like a bait shop. You approach Molt Mall. Suddenly, Ugh. oh! Mold Bug needs some distance. You don't need. You don't hug Moldbug. It appreciates the respect of its boundaries. <laughs> I'm not having a good time with this. Seems comfortable with your presence. Symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my hyphae. I struggle to pull away. My struggle to escape blasts to it all. 
Feeling of being watched. Statue of Tem, very famous, very. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tem Shop. Hoy, you should check out Tem Shop. All right, we got everything. Yeah. Hoy, welcome to the Tem Shop. Hoy, I'm Temmy. Hoy, I'm Temmy. Yeah. Hoy, Temmy. I'm about history. Us Tems have a deep history. Yeah. And what about your shop? Go there. Asshole. Thank you. Stick? Wow. Really want that fucking stick, huh? Well, you gotta tem tough gloves. I gotta have tough gloves when I got people calling me to wear tough gloves. Yeah. Give me the mandana. And buy mandana for 50. Yeah, fuck it. Alright. I'm not that far away from college. And then again, I'm also not that close to, uh... Getting Tammy armor, unless I go die a bunch. Knock knock, what's up, J-Bomb? Welcome on in. Thanks for showing up! I like how Timmy has a fucked up picture of, uh, Toby in the background. Got our shit. Sandwich with the. You know, like the the weird shit that I got. No astronaut food is not going in there. Which is the the scotch pie? I go for. What's up, friend? Um, not much. Just trying to get some stream hours in after work. Trying to get a uh, be a little more consistent. Go a little more weekly. Coming back with a butts pie, thank you. Abakish and Bandig. Like that, it's Abs Kish. I see that Squids is playing Elden Ring and Matt is playing Dead or School. Which seems like a weird title for a game. I don't want any of that. Rich history of Tam. Yeah, I believe that. I went to Disney. Washua and Aaron up here. Oh no, I have to I have to do it legitimately. Wash you face. What the 
fuck out of here. Hey, Layton, can I make you a bargain? What will that be? Watch, I was friends with a little bird. I asked Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Brain means claim. Oh, wanna. Rinsing off a pizza. No oh, items. Cannot heal. Probably a bad idea to go forward. Let's go get some fucking, like, food. CT crab uh, crab apples I play through this game I, I sometimes I wonder which sprites are by Toby and which are done by uh bits 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 and pieces, pieces. tell a joke or a story well this tune plays for 250 bits you fucking bet fucking Amy <laughs> let me think of one Ah, oh, fuck, man. Ah, oh, now you're putting me on the spot. Now I have to actually think of a story. I have a fucking million anecdotes, and I don't can't think of a fucking one. Is that lot? No, no, not at all. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Okay. So, when Undertale came out, bum, 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 da, da. this shit sucks a fat one. God damn. Let me out of this hell. Um, when Undertale first came out, um, I obsess like a f like fuck over it, cause you know, fucking ADHD and uh, you know, being a bit more uh, impulsive, a good way to put it. But I uh. I put like 70 hours into it. No, I put like 50 hours into it when it uh, first came out. And then I played it a bit more as time went on. Um, and then my friend uh, came over. And at this point, I had not beaten Sans. And the new... Um, uh, the, the Deltarune part, chapter 1 had come out. And I could not fucking beat Jevil. I just could not for the fucking life of me. So with him, we, um, we tried, like, once, like, every time he, like, came over, like, which was every day, so for, like, two weeks, we could not fucking beat Sans, and we couldn't do it for Devil. And, um, 
we just didn't do Devil with him. And I, uh, we, we used, um, uh, some fucking, like, web program to go past, uh, Dan so you could see the end of the, that story. Um, and while well, I never beat Sans, um, then when I uh, went back and played Deltarune to uh, again to do like some of the secret shit for uh, Chapter Two when that came out, um, that's when I finally beat Devil. Also, the music ended a minute ago. I apologize. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. I don't know if that, uh... I, 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 I thought I'd try to tell a pertinent story. I'm not sure if, uh, that was a very good one, though. With that power, Asgore, to finally shatter the barrier, he will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain we have endured. Understand, human. This is your only chance of redemption. It satisfied me. Glad it did. <laughs> Thanks again for the video, table. This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Uh, Undyne, I'll help you fight. Uh, 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 yo, you did it. Undyne's right in front of you. Glad to see you in action like again. I'm I'm really happy to stream me again. Um didn't feel right taking so much time off. But I've beaten both I I've gotten past both burnout and uh schedule it. <clears throat> so hopefully I can do this a lot more frequently. You got the front row seats to her fight! Wait, uh, who's she fighting? Hey, hey, you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Grass gets wiggly. Look at that. Dancing. Later. You hear a passing conversation? Hmm. I say my wish. You promise you won't laugh at me? Your passing conversation? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Your laughter? Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. My wish, too. However, there's a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Ugh. Wacky? Yo, uh... You have a striped shirt, too. That's how I know you're a kid. Yo, I, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. 
Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. <laughs> um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Uh, Hundine told me, uh, stay away from that human. <laughs> so, like, uh, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> you say something mean so I can hate you? Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it. Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. And I... I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Yo, wait. Help, help. I tripped. Fuck out of here. I I'm slipping. No. Oh. Shit. Shit. Wait, what? Wait, we sorry, what? And you save me? Yo, I thought I was a goner. <laughs> Wait, are you okay? It looks like you fell pretty hard. This is my fault. I should have stayed away from them, like you said. They just went straight to fight you instead that's not what I meant. I was trying to tell him to fuck off so I could help the kid fuck. <laughs> I really fucked that one up. I was so scared and you... What? You're gonna go fight them now. But you look hurt. You should rest. <laughs> or you just don't rest, huh? Undyne. You're really cool. Um... Did I? What was the last save? I feel like I should reload that. That's totally not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, wow. That's going to go back all the way to Temi Village, isn't it? Oh, sheesh. Sheesh. No. No, fuck that. All right. We live with our mistakes. Maybe. I saw you try to murder a kid. Oh, let's misunderstand it. I was trying to be funny. <laughs> Ugh, fucking A. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand. You're your seventh and final soul. This world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I'll tell you the tragic tale of our people. No. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it. Why should I tell the story when you're about to die? Yeah. Yeah. You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Office history books think we think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swords, women. But you? You're just a coward. You abandoned your friend just so you could run away. I literally didn't. Well, let's not... Or get your wimpy goody two shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what could be more valuable than everyone? If you are dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting for their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> um, I don't want to save. I legit don't want to. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. If we if we lose, we lose. 
On guard. Bye. As long as you're green, you can't escape unless you learn to face it in your head on. You won't. That's a second against me. Got it. Wee. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad. How about this? No! You told Undyne you didn't want to. No, okay, got it. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Is just within our reach. Anita Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. And won't let you snatch it away from us. And then thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Naga. No. Fish. Enough warming up. Ah. Uh, okay, that shit's bullshit. And then flips her spear impatiently. Alright, bye. Me. You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Oh, what the? F Sucker punch? Bullshit. Can I get out uh, some CT? Killing you is now an act of mercy. Oh, I remember beating this on... Uh, Flash is a menacing smile. Beating uh, un Undying the uh, Undying is fucking great. Stop being so damn resilient! Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Hi. I'm out. No. No more. No! You've escaped from me for the last time. Are you sure about that one? Alphys told me humans were determined. Draws her finger across her neck. I see now what she meant by that. What? Oh, what the fuck? And then bounces impatiently. But I'm determined too. Smells like sushi? No. <laughs> determined to end this right now. No, it's just her pussy. That, that wasn't a kosher joke. Undyne towers threateningly. Right now! Undyne bounces impatiently. Right now! Ah! Okay, I was just... I was invincible for a million years. <laughs> Uh. Flips her spear impatiently. I know already, you little brat. Brat. Ow. I will never take mercy from a human.
by. Welcome to land. Marine. That's a goofy sight sprite. Hey. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Num Nine should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. What? Thank you. Stop running away. Undyne attacks? I think I'm good. Ah, that's good. Sans. Sans, you asshole. Come back here, you little punk. Goodbye. Fish is going to die. Armor so hot, but I can't give up. Goodbye. The water cooler, take a cup of water. Yes, you take a cup of water. Yes, thank you. Fish. Give on the water? Yeah. Yeah. So that hair isn't a part of the helmet. Okay, okay, cool, thanks. Gonna walk away. Go with the termination. Hey, what's up? Goodbye. Laboratory. Let's go see you. Oh, la, la. I'm the Rifferman. I'm in the river woman. Doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. You gotta join me. Ride the boat? Yes. Where we go for today? Waterfall. And we're off. This is a fat boat. This is a fast boat for something you don't fucking, like, you know, paddle. I'm having a little concert. Hum, 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 hum. <laughs> Bye. Come again sometime, tra la la. The child is doing fucking. That thing from Arthur? Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Yeah! Okay, stand by me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. That's a weird ass door. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. I, I don't think we've. Uh... Why don't you two come? Thank you, Papyrus. I can just leave. What? 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 A flint of living. You and I? My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll, uh, go with the others. So, are you ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun? That's property damage. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. 
You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. The enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame! I thought I'm not gonna be friends with you. But I guess. I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Ch challenge? What? Pyrus, wait a second. Shit. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could be friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not going just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. When you have a seat. One time Alfie's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano, and he fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Maybe some nerds. We're in the sink of the teacup in the shape of a fish. Yes, I want to look inside the bone drawer. Thank you, Toby. This one is some top up line MIT MTT thing. You know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, and knives. Tiny swords, axes, spears, and nunchucks. I hate cold food. Dolphy's fixed up my fridge so he heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck with their history. Kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? I don't know if I can break the truth to her. No, I'm sorry. <sighs> you liar. I read off his human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords. Your colossal alien fighting robot. Your supernatural princesses. <laughs> There's no way you're gonna fool me. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. Sit down and progress. Sit down and progress, yeah. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Edgy. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't think of a joke, but ed edgy voice. Also, what would you like? <laughs> hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sickly yellow liquid. Yeah, piss bottle. E box. Blatantly correct choice. A chocolate green cylinder. That's not. Go sugar goes in tea. Undyne? Are you hitting on me? That's a good sp that, that's a good sprite. Required taste. Bridge full of food. Believe me, I will gladly give you your fill of swords. You aren't my beloved house guest. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge. No! Me the soda. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you're pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I don't. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Do I have it? I don't like that face. 
Yeah, I get it. Okay, give me the fucking tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Put the soda in it. We'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, you don't have to watch it. You shouldn't. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Slide off the table. Careful, it's hot. Not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolute precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. One flower tea. Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, you know that I think about it. I remind me of them. Um, you're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. The worst the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you know how you want to know how to beat me? He said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. Oh, bad. He was beaming. He never seen so more proud to get their butt kicked. And long story short, he kept training me. I'm the head of the Royal Guard. I'm the one who gets to train the dorks to fight. Yeah, uh, Iris. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I could ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. I'm told I said that. He's just, well, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. But he's too innocent and nice. Maybe look, he was supposed to capture you. He ended up being friends with you instead. You could never send him into battle. He ripped up into little smiling shreds. Part of why I teach him how to cook, you know? Um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? Let me get, get you some more. Wait a second. Iris, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. No. Thank you. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, will become closer than you can even imagine. I'm not afraid. You're gonna... We're gonna be friends. That's a good... That's a good animation. Let's start with the sods. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemies. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner? Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. Show you how it's done. Mm. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... Yeah, the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, if I put them in, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Place the noodles in one at a time. They clink against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. Harder? Harder. Uh, let me do it. I think you need to go to an like an anger management class. I'm sorry. That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. 
Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Right, what? Ah, uh, let me do it. See, this is how you... Ah, uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at those things. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh my... I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. People just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, that's okay. If we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles, I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. That's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Oh, come on, hit me with all you've got. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might? What? That's the best you can manage? You're attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <sighs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hate your stupid saccharine shtick, but also, by the way, I just realized that those ear things, the things on the side of her head, uh, the black part filling the inside of it isn't, is, is, that's just a hole. Kind of weird. No, only that mill part is weird. Weird. But you hit me right now, it. Give me of someone I used to train with. I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. Wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems like you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down. I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, if you do for Asgore, I'll take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> well, let's get the hell out of these, this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess we'll go hang with... If you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk, too. We'll see you later. Unk. Um. Funny house. Sounds like only fire lives here now. Really hoping that will change. Let's go visit them in the fun Snowden. Or actually, let's call them. Sounds like you're near Undyne's house. Hey, we should go visit Undyne. I'm right here. I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got the face. La la la, care for the ride, ride in the boat. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Snowden. And we're off. Very good. Chala, tell me the word. The room before the darkening lantern room. Yeah, I know. I've been there. What do you think about the dummies? I make the funny cuts. Come again sometime. Chala. Bear will tell a fish about it. Now we picked up. Yeah, that's not it. God damn it. Snowden! 
Snowden, home of papyrus. That's a slogan, right? I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and Bernie. Hey, punk, what's up? Chew, Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we eat standing grilled bees instead? Because I hate grease. We don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if I ran from there? I don't think I would do a good job, and I hate responsibility. I love politics, so it might be a perfect match. That is true. Hmm? Just in the precedence of my responsibility. I and mean, I'll be honest, I just keep looking to see if I've gotten one. Huh? Yes, I'm taking my money for a walk. It's a very slow one. A little, that, that's a little fucked up. That lady over there has been going for a walk for a while now. She hasn't moved an inch from where she's standing. Well, I haven't either, but I don't want her to notice me over here. The Brontandra from the lady. We're gonna do another attempt at uh, the funny fish. And then we're gonna shut it down for the night. Yo, what's up? We all live in the woods, so no one can tell us what to do. Not everyone ignores us. I want freedom if it means no one's gonna pay attention to me. No buff. What's up, gift rot? I've heard there's a local tradition based off of my own suffering. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's called Grimbus. Come on, Clyde. I wish to talk to you. The door. Ten minutes of walking. Be the boss. Find Toby McGuire. So that's who fucking designed who made that decision. Your boss, I get that. It's a paid for bot. I get it, I get it, I get it. I just want to fight the funny Clyde. Thank God that fucking Delta Rune has so much more quality of life than this game. That's what we're gonna be playing next. Any minute. Oh, 
Well, did it not? I wonder if I've, like, lost my chance. It might not be available after Undyne, which would be a bummer. Huh. Alright. Well, that's not a big deal. Shit. Here we go. Alright. Well, we're gonna kick it for the night and go to the ending screen. It's been a good, uh, I think it's a good stream. Short one, but it was a fun one. I gotta go get some rest. Uh, got a long day coming up. We'll be back next week. Have a good day.